Hi guys, thanks again for visiting us at RS Aquaculture. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how are we actually transporting this super PL, which are actually PLs that are already quite big. Uh, they are in the size about 0 0.3 grams and we're transporting them over the long distances uh, from the nursery which is about one and a half hours away from our indoor shrimp farm so stay tuned Welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on shrimp farming and market farming. So do like and subscribe if you like to get a weekly notification. So for those who are familiar with our channel, you have actually probably seen that we have been using this bluish color fiberglass tanks that are insulated. And we've been using them to transport our shrimps live. So these are actually harvest during the harvest period and we actually during the transportation we put some aeration as well in these tanks with a dc power aerator and we usually harvest this kind of end harvest size shrimps which is about 25 gram to 30 grams and to allow it to our clients to have it live so for this uh, transportation process because we needed the prs that are a bit bigger to skip the nursery phase to do a direct stocking to our tanks so therefore we need a different way to transporting the shrimp because usually they are transported in plastic bags so as you can see over here you know we are just at the hatchery and they are preparing the prs for us so these prs are a bit bigger than your usual prs uh, they are called super pl in the range of 0 0.3 grams and above so we are lucky to be able to get uh, some of these bigger PLs from them but the hard part with these bigger PLs is transportation because they tend to use a lot, a lot of space and require oxygen so the normal packaging with plastic just can't work so we actually use a lot of aeration as well and on top of that we are actually using also oxygen tablets to sustain that high stocking density over a long period of time as the transportation process takes about two hours, two and a half hours to reach the farm, we actually needed this supplementation of oxygen. And for those who are not familiar with what oxygen tablet is, you can actually check out our video last week where we actually have been testing this out with very high stocking intensity with tilapia. So this was actually a, a test to and decide whether we could use this during the transportation of PR. So as you can see that we actually, this is after transporting the strains for about two hours, two and a half hours. You can see with the oxygen tablet is quite high, it's 99% saturation, which actually means it's actually very good. And for the tanks that we did not put oxygen tablet, it's actually lower. Right, so it's in a range of about 96 to 94 percent so not a lot of difference because our stocking density is about 6,000 shrimps in 200 liters of water so this is upon arrival and we're just actually scooping out a lot of our shrimps and putting them into uh, the tanks like these so obviously you can see that uh, they are actually doing quite well uh, they're very active uh, we actually reduce the temperature as well to about 25 degrees celsius and the tanks are insulated so we don't have to top up ice because it holds uh, the temperature quite well over a long distance period of time so you can see that the prs are quite active right uh, after two and a half hours of stocking so we are actually quite glad that you know these prs are quite huge and we still manage to truck them without a lot of mortality actually we only found one or two shrimps that are dead of the batch of about six thousand so they are actually doing quite well and they are very active and you know right now you can see that even in the tank after a two hour journey as the temperature start to creep up to about 26 27 degrees they actually start to be a bit more active but most of them are still able to swim and you know right here we are just transporting over them to this smaller uh, basket for them to be put into the tanks so right here my colleague is actually releasing a lot of these PLs into the water and you know they are acclimatizing quite well and we will start feeding uh, tomorrow so as you can see uh, there are benefits trade off with getting PLs that are a bit bigger in sizes the first hurdle is getting the transportation right it has not always been this smooth and we have actually encountered a lot of hiccup along the way especially if you're trucking huge PL in big quantities so that needs to be figured out first before you decide uh, the the size of PLs that you want to buy and often transportation is the limitation process of buying bigger PL right so you can see that these are the PLs that are slowly acclimatizing to our new tanks they are already at the same salinity 
all right so hopefully we hope you guys learn a lot on this video and if you like our content do remember to like and subscribe to our channel as we will do weekly content on shrimp farming and micro farming that are very useful to you guys who are willing to venture out there Thank mm -hmm. you.